Hello everyone, my name is Ian Robinson and this is Creative 111. This week, I want to talk to you about expressions, specifically the very first expression I ever learned. Now those of you who know me know I'm not a big fan of writing expressions from scratch, but this one is relatively simple and it is extraordinarily useful. In this example project, I'm using the expression to actually make a light flicker. So let's check it out. If we look in our project here, I'm going to open my US travel example comp and just make sure I'm at the beginning of the comp and I'll press the spacebar to begin playback. And you'll notice that there is a really nice flicker on the main light in this scene. So to make that flicker, rather than using keyframes, I used the wiggle expression. So I'll press the spacebar to stop playback and jump into my travel start composition. And in here, I want to select point light one and I'll press T to open the intensity of that light setting, which is the overall brightness. This is the brightest light in the scene. You can see it's set at 90% intensity. And this is the light that I want to flicker. So to add an expression, I'm going to hold down the Alt key on Windows, or you can hold down Option on the Mac, and then click on the stopwatch next to intensity. When you do that, you'll get this little panel that pops open, and the text is already covered in a highlight, and I can just start typing. So the thing I'm going to type is the word wiggle. So I'll type W-I-G-G-L-E. And you can see I get a really nice pop-up menu that lets me know, okay, uh, these are common expressions. So I'll choose the middle one, wiggle with the two paren. Okay, so to choose that, I'll press enter. And when I do that, you can see I've actually got my cursor in the middle there. And it's looking for two numbers. One is the amount or how often I would like the wiggle to occur. And then the second number is the variance, the amount that number will change. So I, I want this wiggle to occur about 10 times a second. And then I'm going to press comma. And I want it to wiggle uh, almost 20% in either direction, the value. So I'll say 20 like so. So now to set this expression, I'll just click outside of this area here and that'll go ahead and set it, okay? So I just clicked in an empty area and now you notice my intensity value is at 85%. And if I just step up and down the timeline, I'm just using page up or page down to move up and down the timeline by one frame, you'll notice it'll increase up to 109. So it was at 90 and 109 is 19 higher. So that's letting me know that it can go 20% in one direction and 20% in another. So I'm going to go down here. And the reason I'm saying percent, that's how intensity is measured. This expression is primarily used for when you want to wiggle one specific number. So it works great on things like intensity or opacity or, um, well, anything that has a single number value. If you're using position, you can right click on the word position and separate the values and you could apply it to an individual uh, parameter. There is a more advanced wiggle expression we can use to actually control the X and the Y and the Z separately, but we're not gonna cover that today. Let's actually look at the results that we got from this expression. So I'll go ahead and press the space bar here to begin playback. And you'll notice it's gonna take a second for the frames to load up on my machine. You can see it's not playing in real time right here. Um, it's taking a second because I'm also running the screen record software as well as everything else. Um, but once it actually reaches the end of the work area here at five seconds, it's gonna go ahead and loop back and play back in real time. So here you can see that flicker that I've added to the scene. So as you can see, when it comes to expressions, if you wanna get started, it's really not that hard. I would suggest starting with the wiggle expression and just remember when you're applying it, you wanna apply it to a parameter that has a single number. So this was just a quick little tutorial today. Hopefully you'll rejoin me in the weeks to come. I'm gonna be putting out new tutorials every single week. So if you like this, please subscribe and thank you all for watching. Take care and have a good one.